morning, everybody. So we partnered with Roger Federer a couple of years ago. Um, we think he's a fantastic representative for our brand. We've got a global relationship. We do a lot with him uh, here in the United States. Uh, and so we were thrilled, obviously, when uh, when he took that title from Andy. Sorry about that. Uh, but Jeff, you're an American anyway. And I think we've all Can learned that when you lose and, and you cry in front of the, the, the global media, you become a much more sympathetic character. Uh, Roger won a seventh title. He's now the number one uh, tennis player in the world. Uh, that's something that uh, we have at the moment. We can say, at least here in the United States, uh, our business uh, has been uh, nothing short of record breaking here for the past six months. Uh, right now, we are the number one luxury brand in the United States, not just from a volume standpoint, uh, but we're outgrowing our, all of our key rivals. So it's not just about volume, it's about growth and, then, and, the, uh, and the trajectory that we're on. So if you put us against Audi, against BMW, we're gaining more market share, so we're growing faster, and we haven't even begun the launch of the GL. Uh, we're really excited about the GL. Um, the first generation was, uh, was hit, hit the nail right on the head. The packaging for that product uh, met the needs of the US market uh, really right out of the gate. And uh, the sales momentum for the GL has been, has been terrific since, since its very launch. I mentioned it last night, 53% of the global production uh, finds its way to the United States. And to now be saying that we're launching the second generation um, to, for us is a, is a big deal. So the GL is now joining the third generation M class, the sixth generation. Finally, we're, we're getting this maturity off of a platform. And to think we got as many things as we did right in the first package, uh, now we can say that the new GL is literally better, better in every single way. I was down in Alabama a couple weeks ago for the Job One uh, celebration, and uh, it's, it's amazing to see the amount of momentum that's going on for this company, this brand, especially here in the United States. Uh, I obviously toured the facility and Job One was cranked up and, and they're ready to go. Uh, I was with the M-Class plant that when it first started, so to have seen fast forward 15, 18 years, how much has happened. Now they're expanding and they're beginning to ramp up for C-class production. There's talk of even further expansion as we, uh, as we ramp up as a company to meet the expansion both globally, but more importantly here in the United States. Uh, so there's just so much going on and the fact that we're uh, using this moment where uh, things seem to be going very well for our company. Uh, we are, again, we're, we're number one, we're growing faster, uh, we're launching new products, but in the next couple of years, the number of products that we've got coming is nothing short of phenomenal. So the thing that, that we're doing uh, with our team is ramping ourselves up for this kind of next wave of growth that a phenomenal array of products is gonna bring with it. So it's an exciting time, exciting time for, uh, for new product launches, uh, exciting time for our brand. We think that uh, there's a whole lot more growth potential here in the United States. It's not just about Brazil and Russia and India and China, even though all the other brands are ramping up and putting capacity there. But we're expanding our capacity here. We're adding jobs here in the United States. We're closing uh, our supply lines, which we think is great. We're going to have engines that are going to be built in Tennessee. They're going to be built that are going to be delivered uh, to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, so there's a whole lot going on for this company. And, uh, and it's exciting uh, to be a part of it for uh, the last six months to be able to be leading that initiative. And, and for, for us, as we um, prepare ourselves for all the volume that we've got coming, uh, our focus for our entire company with products like this is how do we work together with our dealers uh, to improve the customer experience. That's the one thing, uh, if we look at ourselves in the mirror, we're not doing well enough. And, and, and we've admitted that, and our dealers have said we need to do better. So we're going to use the wind that's at our back right now from a, from a growth standpoint, from a market standpoint. We're going to use the wind that's at our back from a product standpoint because the products have never been better, the quality has never been better, and we're going to focus that energy around delivering a world-class best-or-nothing experience, which we do across our dealer body, but we don't do it often enough. So. Our success formula, and what's going to make Mercedes-Benz kind of the luxury franchise uh, for the next five, ten years in the United States is going to be phenomenal products, um, expansion, it's going to be quality, and it's going to be a best or nothing customer experience that we are well on our, well, on our way to, uh, to focusing on and, and building 
uh, inside of MDUSA together with our dealers. So uh, lots of exciting stuff. Uh, I'm turning it over to, uh, to Bart to get into the details and the nitty gritty of a really exciting pro product. Uh, but I look forward to conversations today. I'm around all day if, we, if, if anybody wants to have kind of a chat. So uh, uh, enjoy, the, enjoy the drive.